welcome back to uh, H2KTV.com, known as the Steel Series Land. I know you were about to smack me, but whatever. <laughs> we are actually casting for Steel Series um, for this land. I am Sick one of TV. your casters, Ozbot. O Z Bot. With, uh, o Z Bot. With uh, Mumbles here. What's going on, Mumbles? Not a whole lot. Um, yeah, for, for you guys that uh, were enjoying the dinner break there as much as I was, not really. Uh, we're sorry for the for delay. Of course, we need to eat as well. You know, I got to sit here and uh, try to scrunch down a, a Whopper in no time. We're not your damn servants. <laughs> well, apparently you are. <laughs> to me, I got my food brought to me. But yeah, <laughs> Reason versus Playtech is coming up right here on the C Steel Series Esports Challenge um, group phase. We're going to see the last two groups finally uh, get into play. It's going to be a long night probably because we are uh, definitely behind schedule. <laughs> uh. So yeah, we're broadcasting live from Copenhagen. If you're in the area, please come say hi. Because uh, I don't know, maybe you can bring us coffee. Uh, that would be good. Are you lonely? Because like every five seconds, you're like, come say hello. Seriously, dude, <laughs> I, I've only been, I've only had like three people ask me, are you Ozbot? <laughs> I'm like, f you. <laughs> people randomly come, are you Ozbot? Oh, you're Ozbot. Oh, hi, Ozbot. <laughs> Do I look like Osbot? Seriously, come on now. <laughs> do I look like Tony Hawk? Yes, yes. you do look like. Do a kickflip, Tony Hawk. <laughs> do a kickflip. <laughs> uh, meanwhile, yeah, we're waiting for these players to, to get into gear. See, one of the recent players actually disconnected. Uh, they're still um, lighters. Big light. Yep, lighters is missing. They're still uh, setting up their stuff. Yeah. Chill. Um. In the meanwhile. Oh, what? Do you know anything about the Playtech team? Well, not, not as familiar as I am with uh, the Reason team. Well, uh, I, for the viewers, Playtech's like a really small Swedish team. I don't know. Maybe yep. like top five Sweden. I don't know. I mean, if they play on game and all of Reason play like Stevie did in versus Dignitas, then, <laughs> then, they, then they, may, they might have a chance to win a few rounds. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Uh, <laughs> Uh, that's, har that's harsh, but that's a, I, I, it's nothing against TV. No offense. We we are definitely uh, predicting reason to, to yeah, dominate this matchup. I I, I say 13-4. Yeah, I, like I said, I, I'm going with the 13-2. That seems to be the general trend in this uh, this event. Dude, what is up with that? This is crazy. It's like 13-2, 13-3. Yep. Like it's just single digits. Well, th these are the you know these are the group phases. A lot of players, uh, a lot of teams that are. Uh, just not as good or still in it. So, yeah, indeed. so uh, Lighters has joined up. There is five on the server for each team, but they are not readied up. No one is readied up, actually. They're, They're just keeping you waiting. sitting there giving each other the evil eye. As I look across here, I see uh, Big Trig getting up. He's like, fuck this, I'm out. Peace. I, I have no idea. I think he's coming over here to punch me. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, he's, he's leaving. As long as no, he doesn't sit in here. He's going for a cigarette. Who goes for a cigarette in the middle of. Dude, I gotta go. Like, I need a cigarette. <laughs> uh, screw this. I'm going back, back to, to Mexico. Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> Sick rams. Uh, I, I've casted both these teams quite regularly. Uh, they, do, uh, they do play a lot, so. Well, uh, actually, w interesting enough, these two teams played against each other in the SEC Cup. Nope. Oh. Yeah, uh, it go. was. They were they were named kings, and uh, if I recall, reason destroyed them like thirteen four. Uh, and this put him is in a body bag. This is land, and reason have been known to be good on land. So do it on land. Uh, we might be seeing another repeat. There's gonna be blood and gore everywhere, guys. You, just, you don't want to miss this. It's gonna be like dominance. If you want some free COD lessons, watch this match. Yeah, I'm gonna love watching the DND combo right there. That is uh, Duffer and Diablo. Yep. Big combo right there, man. It's unstoppable. But uh, yeah, I mean, Playtech do have decent players. I'm going to be honest here. Sue Cramsey is a uh, good scope. I've seen him online and I've seen him do stuff, but I've never seen him on land. But I think Ants is scoping. I, I, I don't ask me why. <laughs> And oh, Johans, we'll Johans, I forgot about Johans. He has played in a team with uh, with Miracle and Climax in them before, I believe. So he should be decent. Well, we saw those people, uh, those they, uh, they they've uh, they've been dominating both Climax and Miracle. Yeah. Well, 
HTK are doing good. They topped their group and uh, they're going through to the playoffs. So. Yep. <sighs> so still waiting for the last reason player. Lighters is uh, MIA. It's going to be a long night. <laughs> it's going to be a long, long night. Good lord. You know, this is this is also something we know from the le from the reason team. They love making you wait. Good lord! Oh my god! Anytime I cast a game, it takes them like forty minutes to get on the server. <laughs> yeah. And Big Trig still isn't back in his seat. He's smoking up like a chimney. Johans is like, you ready? Does it look like he's ready? Unless Trigger has gone invisible, he has the power of invisibility. Yeah, probably research cloak in the tech facility. Oh, oh, wait. Uh, sorry, I got Saga Starcraft 2 mode again. Just for you who don't know, uh, Mumbles here is a geek. Uh, <laughs> oh, bite me. Big Starcraft 2 little fan there. Dude, I, I do have a lot of Starcraft 2 casting uh, recently. Yeah. Surprisingly so enough, it pays a lot better than the COD casting too, so <laughs> I'm not going to say yeah, anything. Yeah, we're not getting paid anyway, so Oh, we, wait, we, got a, we got a free ride here. That's got to count for something, right? Yeah, that's all right. That's good. I'll take a free vacation to, to Denmark any day, even though it's cold as hell here. Come but to think of it, really, I wouldn't come here on a vacation. <laughs> no, dude, it's freezing here. No <laughs> yeah. offense to you, like, Danish people, but... How do you last? I, I don't know. That is ridiculous, dude. I want to be back in... I, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I want to be back in Germany. <laughs> like, that's not something I would normally say, but to be honest, when I was in Cologne, dude, it was hot. Like... I would wear my shorts out on my balcony, like only shorts, just Dude, laying out. The, the weather in the Netherlands was really nice as well this weekend. I was, I was, well, I was pretty de depressed. I had to leave that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, oh well. Here, make the best of it. Yep, you, you gotta imagine. I'm wearing just to give you guys an idea. I'm wearing three shirts, two of which are long sleeve, a sweater, and over that a vest. So, <laughs> and, and, and I'm still, still cold. cold. <laughs> he's still cold. Me, on the other hand, I'm wearing a t-shirt and a hoodie, and I'm warm. Because people have hot breath and they won't be quiet. And why does that sign say Denmark? I, I know we're in Denmark. That is random. Apparently, uh, it's for those people that are lost. <laughs> Where are we? You're in Denmark. Look, look at the sign. And for the people that fall over and faint and then wake up and we're like, "Where am I?" And we have a lot of people. We have a lot of people fainting. So. <laughs> Oh, for, I, yeah, I it's apologize. a bit of an inside joke there. I, um, I, I, what, I one of our producers, Lenny, actually fainted while he was uh, and, coming to pick us up. And so. he smacked his face on the floor. It, it, it's quite a spectacle. It, he looks quite uh, quite interesting now. Like something out of a horror movie, really. It's, uh, <laughs> the left side of his face is... Uh, Pretty fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Hi-yo. Yeah, we had, a, we had our share of issues. <laughs> All right, issues. Who are we waiting on there? Hit the tab button to see. We who's are expected. waiting for. Uh, let's see. Uh, there we're, we're waiting for uh, Soklon. So yeah, Soklon. Oh God. We have nothing to talk about. Nope. We are we are filling dead air. I hope you guys are having a good time so far. Of course, once again, this is uh, the Steel Sport at Steel Series Esports yeah, Challenge. See? Wow. No. no. Dyslexia. Wow. Uh, earlier I said the Steel Sports E five uh, times he says challenge, it. And now it up he's once. saying it. Yeah, you know, I messed it up once. Like, you can bite me. <laughs> You're serious messing dyslexia. it up ever since. But yeah, Steel Series Esports Challenge live from Co Copenhagen. <laughs> he is so amused with himself right now. He's been messing it up all day. He's just been waiting for me to slip up. I just wait for that perfect moment and oh, I yeah. got it. Thank you. Uh I anyway, hope you guys are doing the coverage show. Reason. Here we oh, go. There we we go. are going live into the knife round, folks. Let's get some knife action going. Some knife action. Wait, we're just going to follow Sucrams. It doesn't really matter. Knife round is just knife round. Let's be honest here. Uh, come on, you don't like your Jack, Jack the Ripper action? No, I don't. It, it, it's boring. Okay, so Sucrams is like jumping on top of market. Jesus takes out Soklon though for the first knife. Diablo going on to Sucrams though. We'll just watch this middle here because there's a lot of action going on. Ant's taking out Duffer. One of the guys going up there. I'll follow on to Diablo then if I can find him. Uh, we'll just get Lighters here as Lighters is trying to come from behind. The only man alive for uh, Reason Gaming. Lighters taking out one though and uh, Playtech celebrating 
early, but wow. it was a deserved celebrate. They win the knife round and they get to choose a side. Well, Reason already, uh, sorry, Play uh, Playtech already won more rounds than I would have uh, expected. <laughs> that one doesn't even count. That, that was just cruel, man. <laughs> I have no mercy, I'm sorry. Did you ready up? I can't ready up yet, needs a restart. So wait for a restart, then, then uh, we can the, ready uh, up. No admin problem. has gone away. The admin's like, peace. <laughs> peace out, bro. I'm going back to Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> Dude on land. <laughs> Dude on land. All right, so everybody is on the teams, just waiting for Reason to ready. Again. Reason. Again. Come on. Get it together. Who are we waiting on? Trigger, Duffer, and Diablo. Okay. These guys, these guys are like uh, celebrities. They they take their time. Yeah, but let's be honest here. We're on a schedule. <laughs> yeah. I, I I well whatever. Jesus Christ! It is windy, dude. This tent is gonna blow yeah. down. Fuck the D and D combo. It's all about an MYM duo. <laughs> all right, first round. Let's try some scoop action. Ants has got the scope for play tech. Let's see if he can make some shots on the Soklon. Soklon being the uh, Scoper for Reason Gaming, one of the dominant scopes in Europe, shooting through that uh, smoke, not managing to get anyone, and it, it, to be honest, he's just playing a normal spot, so I'll go on to another person. Johan's getting the first frag onto Duffer, though. Duffer got a little bit too aggressive and managed to get taken out. Lighter's here with the AK watching over onto those flowers. Diablo at the window. Soklon is just right behind them. They know one is pushing up through that small window right there. Midnight taking down Diablo. That's two di down for the reason side. Sucrams from that window taking down Soklon. This might be a round for Playtech. The first round going down, but you can never say anything. It's just lighter and trigger the two big players. Oh, it's uh -oh. all down to big uh -oh. trig here. 1v5. Let's see if he can do anything. Let me find him. There's big trig over in that car park, prone in behind that brown car. Just wait for that guy. He knows one is there, man. But there's not much he can do. And Playtech get the first round, and they celebrate. So they got they just got a perfect sweep. <laughs> that's, Don't we look like assholes right dude. now? <laughs> hey, dude, it's, you never know, man. Yeah, apparently we we uh, apparently uh, Playtech is not <laughs> too happy with our comments. They uh, are quite convinced that they can prove us otherwise. Meanwhile, their lighter for the early set nade on Ann Sands, returning right to favor with a set nade of his own on triggers. So we are back in a, a four on four oh, but uh, there's another player for a reason going down. So there we see Duffer take on <laughs> take on one down. Wow, it's a three on three situation. The, the kills are going to and from right now with uh, no real organization or um, strategic purpose. It does seem. We see the B side be pushed right here, and it is Johan's getting the kill on Duffer right there. And uh, is Reason losing another round? Soklon's last man standing right here with the bomb at the A site. We're gonna go in for a plant. It is safe to go in for a plant. Throws down the smoke. Planning away. Meanwhile, the playtech one of the playtech members is rotating over. It's Jesus and Johan's just uh, sneak up on his position. He does get the bomb down. Might he go clutch? Has a scope out. Uh, looking the wrong way though. Both uh, both the playtech members are coming from the other side. Right now, one of the playtech members is actually going into that site. He's gonna sneak up. And they're about to meet up. It's gonna come around that corner and uh, it's gonna be a battle. Oh, Soklon right now opening fire and there's the flank. Johans with the kill. Well played, two on one. Really well played out. And that's uh, 2 out of score. Uh, is it too late to change my prediction? <laughs> uh, okay, I am changing my prediction. Um, uh, no, no, I'm, we're going with 13 2 only in favor of Playtech. <laughs> yeah, in favor of Playtech. There we go. <laughs> All right, let's follow on to Suk Ramsey here. He's. Uh, is he playing AK or is he playing SMG? Ah, he's playing AK. He's gonna get that uh, fire onto the normal spot over on top of stairs at mid. Gonna, looks like he's working A alone. And now there is one in that arches and Midnight takes out Diablo. It, it just seems like the rushes are getting shut down, but Lighter's replies on the Suk Rams to make it four on four all evened up. Midnight taking out Duffer though, taking out both SMGs for the reason side. They no longer have any aggressive SMGs left. They're playing AK and Scope left. Lighter says that doesn't even matter, taking out Ant, who is the scope for the Playtech side. Midnight there prone, just watching the lane. He knows someone there is to the left. Midnight just in this lane, just going to the right, leaning right. Meanwhile, Jesus taking out Lighters. Midnight taking out Soklon. This could be another round for oh my Playtech. God. Trigger getting tagged up here. It's just, I don't see him. 
like doing much unless he just comes up straight clutch looking behind could be a guy from behind and trigger getting the That's first one. frag see if he can get another one and make it a one-on-one -on -one situation which is a little bit easier on him looking over he, he's going up on that balcony near those flowers but there's a man there well played plate tech three zero here um, um no wait. okay this is not uh, not what we expected here let's uh let's see what well, we get spectate no, that's spectate ants from the spawn just uh with that scope looking across marketplace throwing out some nades right now hoping to get a lucky well not a lucky shot off but hoping to get a shot off it's not gonna happen you know, here's some nades incoming. Diablo now opening up the scoreboard, uh, you know, opening up uh, on, on Johans. Lighter's also getting a kill on Midnight, so we're gonna try to switch over to Playtech members. I mean, there's less of them. And <laughs> there we go, Jesus, under a lot of fire. It's getting tagged up pretty badly, and it's Soklan that finally gets the kill after planning, gets the headshot. So Soklan's though, An gets mowed down by Ants. Ants in turn gets uh, mowed down by uh, Diablo, and it's all up to Sucrums right now. Can he make something happen? No, he cannot. Duffer with the handgun. Easy kill. 3 to 1 the score. And that That's is more the first like round on the board for a reason. Reason are definitely going to try and make their way back into this game and take the lead over Playtech. Let's go on to one of the... Let's go on to Soklan. I like watching Soklan. He's, he's just a good scope. A scope in hand. He's, he's going to wait for those SMGs to push and he's going to try and get some cover fire from them. Deagle in hand going for the set nade on to B. It looks like it's going to be a B push from the Reason side. Lighter's taking out Midnight for the first frag on the board for this round. Soklan aiming that scope up top of streets. Johan's taking out Diablo. Meanwhile, Lighter's taking out so Sukrams. Ants replies on the trigger with his scope. Now a three on three situation all evened up. Lighter sees that foot up there, but he doesn't oh. get the shot in time. He cannot protect oh. Duffer, but he gets the shot onto Ants. Now that scope is down for the Playtech side. Johans takes out Soklan, though. Now a two-on-one situation. Can Lighters come up clutch? I will switch to him. He's aiming up at that top of street, looking towards that barrel. He doesn't know. Oh, my God, and that is another round four Playtech. You know, I really thought that Reason was just starting off slow, you know, fine. You know, the, the Playtech team gets a few rounds and that's going to be it, but Reason takes one and then completely gets shut down again. I mean, it's, it's not even funny. Apparently, uh, momentum doesn't really matter in this matchup, uh, so we're going to see if we can find it. Let's uh, spectate lighter, lighter set. I don't think we can hit much coverage yet. Looking across that marketplace, spots one, gets some damage in. He tags up uh, Jesus, it seems, pretty badly. Cannot get the kill though. Meanwhile, his teammate charges in and finishes. Uh, finishes no, does not finish the deal. Duffer is actually going down to, to Jesus, so that rush was uh, quite unsuccessful. And then we have lighters in the trigger. Just the two of them left right here. Trigger gets mowed down by, by Sucrums, and uh, it's all up to lighters. Goes for a fake plant, then backs out, but it's against three Playtech members. It is not going to be easy. <laughs> Nothing short of it. And there we go. Gets one, gets Sucrums, needs two more. Needs to get Jesus, and needs to get Midnight. Midnight right on his right side. Does not spot him in midnight with the kill on lighters, and that is five to one. What is going on, Reason? You know, this was not expected at all. Reason really came over dominant over these guys online, but this is LAN, and anything can go anyway. There are upsets that happen. Go on to Sukrams, who's just doing the same thing every round, tagging up on that middle, manages to tag lighters up a little bit. Yeah, it's just not enough to kill him, of course not. It's Sukrams. Aiming over there, those stairs. Ants opens up the frag on the Diablo. First frag of the rounds. Trigger goes back on the Jesus. Soklan opens up on Ants again. Scope on scope action. Now it's a 2v4 situation in favor of Reason. We'll have to see what Sukrams can do here. Johan's getting tagged up by Duffer. Now it's all down to Sukrams. 1v4 situation. AK in hand going towards those double doors. Getting tagged up real bad. There is one on top of that thing. He manages to take down Trigger now to 1v3 situation. There is one at those mid-stairs, but he just gets shut down by lighters. And Can't of course, down. you know, 3v1 situation, best of light. All you can do is take one down. Yeah, meanwhile, though, we, <laughs> we see the Playtech member do, do Playtech members do amazingly well. Yeah, just, uh, yeah, looking at the kill board. Let's look over the kills right real quick. We see nine kills for lighters at the top. We see a depressing two kills from Diablo. What the hell's that, man? Seriously? Weak. Meanwhile, Johan and uh, Midnight both getting eight kills for their team, uh, leaving their board. Meanwhile, the, oh, the Reason team is finally getting kicked into gear. Ants, Jesus, and Sukram, last three players standing for the playtech team. You know, if you spot Ants with that uh, uh, with a scope in hand, I, I hope. 
Yeah, I'm assuming as much he still has yeah, it. Yeah, answers. Well, I'm assuming he still has it. Yeah, there he does. Just trying to, to find a shot. He's about to meet up with someone. Spots one. Oh, is he going to get the kill? Oh, no, does not. It was a little sloppy. Uh, could have gotten the kill there, but uh, it was too late on it, and it does cost him. Duffer turns around and uh, gets the kill. A nice explosion there to finish the round. 5 to 3. Reason is finally getting into this. Indeed, indeed. Let's go on to uh, Diablo. Come on, man. Pick it up, Diablo. You're like D and D combo. Let's let's see some action. <laughs> you can see Trigger there with the AK just rushing down B alley mindlessly. Gets killed by the Setnade. That's not going to look good for the Reason side. Diablo here picks up his AK. He's going to be pushing with Duffer towards that, but Midnight picks him off. Oh, Diablo comes around the corner taking there out Midnight, go. but Ant opens back up on lighters. Now four on two situation. It's all up to Soklon and Diablo. Diablo pushing up there, up those uh, the top mid. He just gets the frag onto Ants, More trying like to even, even it out for the reason side. Just pushing over to that A-Link. There is only one at that A-Link if they could get that bomb down. This may be their round. Diablo here just taking it real slow, seeing if he can get any frags. Soklon. Let's see what Soklon's got here. Soklon's got an SMG in hand, and on the other, he's got that scope. He's going to throw that smoke up there. You know, cause a distraction. No one can see through that smoke, so how are they going to pick him off? He's going to, of course, get that bomb plant, and now it's all up to Soklon and Diablo. Soklon's going to try and run up there to that car park. Not managing to take anyone with that with that nade. That's not going to help him. Oh, oh. did not get the shot off in time. Oh, he killed Sukarms. <laughs> it's down to Johans. Johans for the Playtech side. Oh, but Soklon takes him down. A beautiful play. Beautiful play. See, that's more like the Diablo we know, honestly. Uh, much better play there. He got the two opening kills for his team and uh, made that even a, a situation that was remotely possible. Let's see right here off the spawn. Let's follow Midnight. Midnight being very aggressive, rushing across that marketplace. He's got to meet up with several recent players right there. Spams away, gets lighters. He's going to get a second one, gets trigger as well. Oh, oh but finally Duffer shuts him down. Well done, though. He's uh, definitely making his, uh, selling his hide not cheap. Jesus and Johan's mainly their last two. Uh, <laughs> oh, Diablo, come on, what's going Diablo on? Diablo kills himself here. Yeah, Diablo <laughs> with uh, the nade on himself. A uh, 2v2 situation, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm not going to comment on that one, we'll just pretend we didn't see it. Jesus and Johans versus Duffer and Soklan. See that B site is mostly empty. So they are going to move over to the A site. Plant goes down there, Soklan uh, puts it down, no problem. Of course he's got that scope, so uh, he's going to switch on over and is, uh, about to run. someone's about to run into his, uh, his site. There we go. And spots one, it's the kill on Joe. And see, that's how it's done. One more. Yes, there is Duffer with the kill on Jesus. And it is 5-5. Five, five. It is tied again. Thank God, Reason, that you're finally getting into gear. It was 5-1. to it was five to one, And Reason really made a comeback here. Let's follow on to Diablo. Because Diablo has has sort of picked it up since since he had two frags. It's certainly though, more interesting. <laughs> even though he killed himself last round. Uh, the opening nade goes on to Soklan and also damages lighters, but Duffer just doesn't care. Running out of nowhere, taking out Johans. Diablo with the bomb in hand and a SMG. It looks like they are going to swarm that B site, even though there are two top streets. They're going to get those smokes down so that they can put that bomb down. I don't know the significance of Diablo having that bomb, but whatever floats your boat. Well, Soklan died with it. All right, well... There's the reason. Diablo getting the bomb down. Trigger taking out Ants. Duffer taking out Jesus. This is looking like a reason round. Lighters taking out Sucrams. Diablo taking out Midnight. And that is a reason round. They have brought this back five rounds in a row. And that is how reason play. Yep. One more round and a half. We'll see if uh, they can get out with a lead or whether we're going to end up with a surprising tie at half. Let's see. Oh, Midnight going down very early there. Let's see Ants. Ants with the scope. Tries to take a shot off, does not get it. Nade coming out. Is it hit? Does it connect? No, it does not. Meanwhile, Sokolon's nade on Sukrams does connect. We uh, arrive at a three on three situation as Jesus takes down Duffer. Oh, and right now, Johan's less than pl player standing for the play attack team. Diablo and Trigger, uh, some very nice kills there. So it is going to be up to Johan's to make something happen. And it's uh, not a good position to play from. Gets the headshot on Trigger, though. Nicely done. Two in one situation with the bomb down. 35 seconds to get something done. It's all up to Jonas right now. Needs to check left before he goes up. Oh, Nade coming in and uh, that gives him away as well. Yeah, Diablo with that shot, cleaning him up properly. 7-5 to five at the half. 
Man, they brought this back from five to one to six rounds in a row. Just yeah, it was uh, overcoming the Playtech side. We'll have to see if Playtech have the strategies to take Reason on attack side, but I don't know. Y you have to wonder what took him so long. I have no. It maybe just a warm up. This is the first game of their of their group, so I mean maybe it's just a warm up. Um, as we can see, Lighters top fragging for Reason here. And midnight top fragging for Playtech. I mean, the, 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 if you look at the scoreboard, the scores are pretty even. Except the Ensign Sukram's kind of uh, slacking behind on the Playtech team, unfortunately for them. Well, yeah. Trigger's pretty slacking for reason. We're not going to get into that now. Trigger just says, okay, screw you. I'm going to get another kill. <laughs> Throws out the set nades. Two set nades go out. Midnight replying on a duffer though. Midnight trying to keep them alive. There we go. He's got the SMG in hand. He's got to protect that bombsman over in Wooden. There is an AK in laundry though. Midnight not be able to do much. He just deagle in hands. Could get picked by Soklon here as Soklon's still alive, but Ants is looking for him. Oh, Ants switched to AK. Nice. Huh? Uh, okay, did, but he takes out take Soklon. He oh. shot his AK like it was a scope there. Just taking out Soklon with ease here we go no, three on three situation there is one on b they need to worry about that guy in laundry he's behind those bins yeah see ants getting tagged up by trigger and trigger just takes him out but sukram's with the set nade on the trigger now two on two situation and of course they're gonna try and go for that bomb plant smoking it up there is one in that in the double doors there he's pushing the site Sukrams might get killed from the No, but Sukrams spots him and shoots him in the face. Why is Sukrams pushing the top street with the bomb? That's I okay, 25 there, seconds. There we to get go. It done. He's getting the bomb plant down. Two on one situation. That's the smart play here. Diablo, the last man alive for the reason Whoa! side. He gets taken down by Sukrams, and that's another round for Playtech trying to bring it back. Six to seven. Well, uh, you know, I, I still don't uh I, I'm still very impressed with the Playtech team with their play so far. You know, they, they put up a hell of a fight, a lot more, uh, a lot more than we expected them to. You know, we were joking about it, but they are, uh, it's a cast of curse apparently. You know, they are proving that we're just, uh, <laughs> just human too and can get it wrong, definitely. Duffer with the kill on Joanne's right here to open it up for the Reason team. Sukram spamming it away as he rotates over. Looking towards that B side. Oh, meanwhile, the Reason players are uh, actually going to Marketplace from the B spawn. Uh, for, sorry, from the B spot. Needs to be very careful right now. He's under a lot of fire. Yeah, gets flanked by Trigger. Trigger with the kill on Anso as well. So this is just le Jesus uh, last standing for the play tech team here. Against four reason members. I don't like his odds. Bomb down. He can... Uh, oh, he needs to be very careful. There's one right around that corner. Spots him. But no, it is Duffer. And Duffer gets the kill. Easily done. Eight to six to score. Yeah, I, I can see Reason are on their game now, and they're, they're bringing it back. They brought it back, and I, I, I still think they will win this, but wow, I, I didn't really think Playtech would get this many rounds. Yep. Johan's here with the SMG in hand. Lighter's opening up the first set nade onto midnight. Johan's looking like he's going to push that mid. There is one in those arches. Soklon picking off Ant scope on scope action. Johan's coming around the corner, taking out Lighter, though. He's chilling in that. And that link there trying to get his team onto the A site. There is one on those flowers, though. There is also one in spawn watching the stairs. So Johan has got to be careful. One's pushing him from behind as well. He, he's just getting boxed in here. And Duffer, of course, just comes around the corner, taking him out with ease. Now a two-on-four situation. They really need to get on that A site and get the bomb down. They're just camping. They're watching the same exact place over here at Car Park. Okay, Sukram's looking over at those flowers now. No one's going to peek him. Reason are really good with their defense. They're just going to stay in those defensive positions. And if Playtech slip up one bit, they're going to come around and just take advantage of that. Bomb is on Jesus here. Two AKs, both AKs. We'll have to see what they can do. Sukram's getting tagged up and Trigger just takes him out with that barrel now. One on four situation. Reason just taking him down with ease now. They're really in the groove. Trigger went from doing five frags to 11 frags and Suka Ants is really holding Playtech back. Yep, so far another not a great match uh, <laughs> map by him. So we're going to follow Trigger off the spawn scene. He has upped his game. He has proven that uh, he's got what it takes to be a reason member. 
Diablo now with the first skill on Jesus. Four and three situ uh, sorry, five on four situation, of course. And there we go. Trigger with some action. Gets the kill on uh, Sucrums. Can he follow up with another one? No, cannot. Turns around and spots another one. There we go. Midnight. Goes down as well. Trigger. Oh, just uh, Johan's, uh, Johan's last uh, man standing right now for the playback team. Uh, can Trigger get another one? You know, we're going to switch it on over to Johan's in that marketplace. He's in all kinds of trouble. He's in a terrible position. And there's no way he can actually get to that bomb. So he actually rotates over to try to get a lucky kill. No, Diablo shuts him down. No love for you. 10 to 6 to score. Diablo going from two frags to 12. So, I mean, there must be something going on. They are in the groove now. Sukrams has taken up scope and said, I give up. I cannot beat Soklan. I'm sorry. Sukrams with the scope in hand. Maybe being able to do something better for the Playtex side. Duffer not allowing them to do anything. Taking out two frags. It's, it's not looking likely for the Playtex side as Duffer comes up with a hat trick. What's gonna happen here is Johan, Johans takes out Soklan. Sukrams with the no scope on a trigger though. Duffer just, Duffer with the ace. That is an ace. Well, that's uh, that's the reason we know and love. Duffer definitely uh, showing up to, showing up to this event without any kind of hesitation. No mercy. No mercy for the playback team apparently. Let's see, off the spawn we see Johans go down early and Duffer with yet another kill. He gets a, a nice set and eight on Sukrams. And wow, the Playtech team is, is just dropping left and right. He's in midnight, not the last two players standing. And only grenade kills so far. So they haven't even gotten to any kind of real confrontation. The peaks towards B, but then notices that that's a bad idea. That's already covered. Right now, is he going to jump down and uh, land on that guy? I <laughs> 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 would have been amusing, but no such. Uh, he's going to rotate back towards B. Even though he knows there's a reason play right there. Uh, I don't think that's a good call. Yep, decides to, to go back again, and meanwhile, Duffer with the kill on Jesus. Midnight answering back, and getting a, a single kill at least, you know, not a, a, a team ace, not a complete sweep, but there it is, Digger, <laughs> Trigger with the kill on Midnight, and it's, it's hard to get exciting. This is what we expect from Reason. Well, it's 12-6. I mean, I, I think it's over for, for the Playtech side. Yep. Reason are just in their groove now, but you never know. If they tie it up 12-12, I will eat my own shorts. And... <laughs> Sukram's here getting absolutely smoked out. Cannot do anything with that. Setnade's going out. Soklan opening up to Ants. Ants is just really holding his team back here with six frags and 18 deaths, having died every single round. Sukram's looking towards that mid while Johans is sitting there with an AK. And two frags go towards the Playtech side as Johans takes out Duffer trying to push that and Sukram's scope on scope action. Jesus taking out Trigger though. Oh, now a four on two situation. What we thought was over, maybe another round for Playtech. <laughs> Johans. Okay, I'm gonna have to eat my own shorts right now. <laughs> uh, I, I'd be very careful. It seems, you know, the trend seems to be with reason that they can only, uh, only really play well under pressure. Yeah, the, the first few rounds, they knew they had an easy match, so they weren't really concerned with it. They weren't playing their best. Right now, they know they're going to have six match points, so they're not going to play their best. They don't, you know, they don't put nearly as much pressure on themselves. And that's, uh, you know, a kind of athlete, the kind of person you see as well, the kind of person that only performs well under pressure. Um, you know, that, that needs to force himself to, to care about a, about a regular round. So this, uh, you know, this could mean a few rounds for Playtech until the reason team finally says, okay, enough is enough. We're going to finish this. Meanwhile, 4 and 4 situation, Diablo with the kill on Midnight, that's uh, nicely done for him. See if you can follow Sukram. Sukram's right here with uh, at the Marketplace. Trying to look over Marketplace and, uh, and spot one. Spamming away, switches that at scope, tries to shoot across, no, can, does not connect. Right now, uh, the Playtech team is just taking a rather awkward approach and Lighters is punishing him for it and killing Jesus. And it's, uh, Sukram's now under a lot of fire, he needs to be very careful, knows he's getting, knows he's getting flanked. Sees his teammate go down to Diablo, and Diablo finishes it in in style. Gets the kill on Sukrams as well, and that is the end of this match. 13 to 7, 13 to, 7 to score. Finally, Reason actually showing them uh, what they came here for, winning. What you thought was going to be a 13-2 turned out to be a 13-7. Yeah, well, I, I blame that on Diablo. Why would you say that? Because he disappointed. Yeah, but he brought it back. Come on, look at his final score. 15 frags. He, he went from 2 frags to 15 frags. Yeah, well, that's that's nice in the second half, but if he had actually played properly in the in the, the first quarter of the game, he he would have what been in the twenties. 
Johans uh, was the top fragger for Playtech side. That Ants really held them back. I was disappointed with him. Yeah, definitely. We usually see Ants play very well. And uh, by the way, these teams are very friendly, apparently. Uh, doing the handshake thing, uh, being very cool about it. I don't know, actually. Well, I mean, yeah. they, they played fairly well. Yeah, definitely. Um, but yeah, th th any, in any case, you know, honestly, Playtech did quite well for themselves. You know, we, we were surprised with how well they did. Uh, I still think that Reason wasn't playing their best. They were uh, basically, yeah, they're the kind of team that you know, they have a few players that can only play while under pressure. You know, the pressure yeah. needs to be on, and then they're like, well, okay, now I actually have to have a desire yeah. to win. But anyway, good first match of the uh, second groups here.